Welcome to our video on performing the advancement flap. This flap is often used on the forehead and in the neck. You can see the common sights here on the face. The technique we describe in this video is for the bilateral advancement flap which is often used on the forehead. However, a unilateral flap may be used. First, the lesion to be excised is marked. This is demonstrated by the red square in the center of the screen. After excising the lesion, four additional cuts are made to the right and the left hand side and four burrows triangles removed. The flap is elevated and the area widely undermined. The two flaps can then be brought together in the midline and sutured into place. The remainder of this video will show you a practical demonstration of how this is performed. First, the lesion to be excised is marked out with a margin. Then the bilateral advancement flaps are drawn on As mentioned earlier, there are four burrows triangles that also need to be drawn. First, the lesion is excised. Then the incisions for the flap are made. The flaps are then elevated. Be careful to avoid crushing the edge of the flap to affect the blood supply. Wide undermining must then be performed circumferentially around the wound. This will allow adequate mobilization of the flap and tension-free closure. You can already see the flap starting to come together. Next, the burrows triangles are excised. This prevents dog earing of the wound. After removing these, we like to place a deep suture, which is buried to help bring the two edges of the flaps together in the midline. We typically use a Vicor suture or a PDS suture for this. The remainder of the wound can then be closed using the principles of halves. Thank you very much for watching.